A good day to all of us. I am returning to my little channel. I just have a tutorial to do. This is about JMG CSSH2 that I shared with you before. Today I will teach you how to use and enable it on our Android devices using SSH Gen 2. If you are interested, subscribe first and press the subscribe button bottom below and please select all there on the bell icon to notify you in my next videos. Let's start guys, I will build first and I will show you my last mod which is JMG CSSH2. Make sure to watch this video to enable this VPN. And that's it. Now we will try to connect it. And of course we can't connect because we haven't added a config yet. Because this is an old config built in the app. We will replace it with a new one. Right now we will first create a config JSON and we will make it the default config that is built in in the application itself. We will use this SSH Gen 2 app tool. And of course you should have SSH servers, if you have VPS it's even better. Just fill up what should be put based on the server details such as proxy and ports. After you configure the servers in payloads, Create your own password for your VPN configuration. And only you can open the file unless your VPN users know nothing about decrypting encrypted files like this. And since this JSON file we will make it the default or built-in config, we will put in the version number 1. After you saved it, just copy and paste or replace it in config.json file inside the asset folder. And if you notice, the decrypted config JSON inside is different, but don't worry because I will fix the source code so that we can use my config general and you can use this VPN. I will put the fixed source code file of the VPN in the description below. And then open the source using the aid tool. Raw link for online config updater can be found at configupdate.util. He's wearing a byte string for protection from those who don't know. <laughs> Please use this encryptor app tool to convert the raw link into bytecode, then replace it on configupdate.util. Don't forget to convert your password into byte, and you can replace it in configutil.java. Sorry, I forgot to replace my own config update raw link for the online update. I will convert it first into bytecode before I replace it there. I'm sorry. I just had a problem while I was fixing the source and made a mistake in the input, so I cut the recording. Don't worry I fixed it already. Sad to say, the online update's still not working. Let's try to create another JSON and I will make it version 3. We will try if it works, if not maybe the problem is with my internet connection. I use GitHub for the online config updater, it is the best for me because others sometimes do maintenance. If you don't know how to use the GitHub site for the online updater, we can make a tutorial video next time, just comment down below.
There seems to be a problem with my rawlink bytecode, I'll check again so just wait and calm down. I finally enabled the online updater, Sana All. But there is an error in PDNSD. I'll just cut the video and fix it first. Let's try to connect again. And that's it guys, we have fixed the error. Okay guys, that's all for this video. I hope a little knowledge has entered your useless brain hee hee hee. I'm just joking. Don't forget to share, like this video and of course subscribe to my little channel so we can always be strong. Thank you for watching.